I know there's a lot of chat tonight about gig rivalry. And just a couple of things to address. I'm not going to say who it is because I don't want to give him any promo, but he said it's his birthday bash. My birthday bash. And then he says, oh, I've just found out that there's another gig in town. He's just found out that there's another gig in town, a gig that was organised, a flyer made and announced weeks ago. But he's just found out. Meanwhile, his gig was announced on Monday and then announced the line-up on Tuesday. And ever since then, he just keeps adding to the lineup. This started off with 12 acts and moved on to 22 acts. And now he's saying that he's got special guests as well. So you're talking about 30 odd acts now. And it's his birthday bash. Obviously, tonight is my last night out. But I just want to everyone to realise there's no hard feelings. I'm actually quite proud. I'm actually quite proud of the boy. You know what I mean? I helped him do his first gigs just a few months ago. And already, he's wanting to have a pop at the champ. Already, he's went, do you know what? I don't care if it's your last night out. I don't care if it's your Christmas. I'm just going to do it anyway. I'm not going to ask if you want to collaborate. I'm just going to do my own night. And I'm going to book 75% of the hip-hop scene in Scotland and about 25% of the acoustic scene in Glasgow and I'm absolutely fine with it. Fine with it. Yeah, it's a bit shite. It is a bit shite, you know, because I'm getting three aeroplanes and a 12-hour bus to go and live in one of the most dangerous countries in the world for months. And this is the last chance I've got to see my friends and family. And I was just expecting it to be a full house a busy night, and there would be no complications. I'm in the middle of moving house, as you can see, I'm tearing in the studio. I've been lifting furniture for two weeks, so my promo game's not really been on point. But I was like, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. But no, we've now got a gig clash. We've got a rival gig clash. But in his mind, he's thinking, it's my birthday bash. It's my birthday bash and I'll do what I want. And in my mind, I'm thinking, this might be the last time I ever see my friends and family. And it's my Christmas. And in a funny way, we're both right. Because to him, the birthday bash is the most important thing. And to me, seeing my friends and family for the last time ever is the most important thing to me. It just depends on who you are. I suppose. We're probably both right. One thing that does bother me though is that he's booking my mates. People who I expect to be at my show to say goodbye. There's at least five names on there that I would consider close friends. And there's a whole bunch of other acquaintances as well. But he's actually booking people who were going to be at my night, but now they're playing a gig elsewhere. They went, fuck you, Mark. Fuck you. I'd rather play a gig in the West End. And that's fine. That's fine. It's a cutthroat business. It's a shit business. You get off on some stage time, then you just go. It's, that's just what you've got to do. I don't think he deliberately meant to do this. I don't think he deliberately meant to harm the, the, the music broth, the fundraising efforts, the fundraising efforts, the fundraising efforts that we're all involved in to help a music library that gives free lessons and free musical instruments to the people who need it most. Because even though our gig tonight at Block is free entry, we're going to be doing a raffle and a bucket to raise money for music broth. I don't think that he was thinking, I want to deliberately damage people in poverty's opportunities to play music. I don't think he wanted to do that. I think that was just, that it's just a byproduct of his birthday bash. His birthday bash. 
also don't think that he wanted to hurt Scotland's most regular hip-hop night. I don't think he wanted to do that. Atlas works the first Thursday of every month at Block. Literally the only night in Scotland that is always guaranteed to be a hip-hop night in Glasgow. The first Thursday of every month at Bar Block in Bath Street and it's free entry. Every month. Every month. For two years. I don't think he wanted to deliberately damage Atlas Works' great work. It was just a byproduct of the birthday bash. So we can rule all of that out. But he has booked 18 acts plus special guests. Oh, yeah, they all, they all announced another two, four yesterday. So about 25 acts. Special guest, he's put 32 acts. I mean, I think the last time I checked, oh, he's just got an update. There is a space for a cipher as well. So that'll probably be about 42 acts. So he's maybe by now, by the time the night comes around, it'll be 52 acts. And it starts at six o'clock at night in the leafy West End suburbs where people are walking their expensive dugs. I don't even know what an expensive dug is. But I'll Google it. That one. Somebody called Alfred is walking that one along the along the River Kelvin, and they decide to stop off for a little break and warm up because it's cold out there. They decide to warm up with a cold IPA and a hot mulled wine, and they are met with a barrage of hardcore rap. A birthday bash. The sound, the unmistakable sound of a birthday bash. It doesn't make sense on any level. On any level, it makes no sense. This does not make sense. But I actually just thought about cancelling. I just thought about cancelling my gig because I don't want to interfere with the birthday bash. You've invited all my mates to play your birthday bash. You even invited me. On Twitter, you said, why don't you pop down and do a couple of songs to celebrate my birthday bash? I'm playing a gig, mate. I'm playing my own night. I can't leave my gig to play a couple of songs for your birthday bash. But what I have done is I've booked special guest Gyro Babies. Gyro Babies will be doing a special set tonight as special guests. I'll also be booking my special guest, Dr. Normal, who was one of the only people that said no. She said no, you tried to book her, and she said no, I'm going to March night out. So, to reward Dr. Normal, Dr. Normal will be playing some tunes tonight. I've also messaged Texture. He's going to be playing some tunes tonight. And of course, we already have Johnny Cypher, Minerva Wakes, and Jackal Trades. And I promise you, there'll be some very special guests. You heard Lewis Capaldi's back, yeah? I'll say no more. By all means, go to the birthday bash, but if I were you, if I were you, I would go to block. Tonight, free entry. We start the food and the drinks at eight. The live music at nine to 11. And then we've got a DJ and pizza till three o'clock in the morning. And if you can't make it, enjoy the birthday bash. Happy birthday, <laughs> No, seriously. Happy birthday, all of. Bye.